Hey everyone, Kelsey here from Premiere Gal, and today I'm showing you how to create this really cool kinetic title. Roll the intro. To make your kinetic title, it's best to be in the graphics workspace in Premiere. This will make sure the essential graphics panel is open and the effect controls, which is what we're going to use to make the kinetic text. Let's start with creating our text. Press T on your keyboard and click in the program monitor to type out the first word. I'm using the font Futura PT Bold, and I'm going to increase the font size so it's nice and big. And be sure to center align this text so the scaling will be centered when we animate. Now click again and let's type out the second word. Then we can also center align it. And for the fill, I'm going to select the color and change this word to yellow. Now we need to move these into place. So I'm going to select this first word and I'm actually going to rotate it 90 degrees. Now select the second word and let's scale it up so that way it's as tall as the first word and then use the position controls to align them together. To make sure it's centered, go to the wrench tool and turn on snap in program monitor. Then click and select both of the layers. And as you move them, a red line will appear when it's center aligned vertically. So now that our text layers are in place, now we can animate. Go to effect controls and here you can expand the window just a bit to the right so that way you will have more space for the animation. Pull the playhead to around one second and then go to the transform controls of the first text layer and you're going to press the stopwatch next to position, scale, and rotation. And now we have three keyframes. Now we can use the arrow keys on the keyboard to move back a few frames. I'm going to move eight frames to the left. And here, let's rotate the word back down to zero and let's scale it up. And then from the essential graphics, you can use the vertical align and the horizontal align tools to get it in exactly the center of the frame. So now when we play it back, it goes from being big in the center to rotating down to its final position. Next, we want the text to hold here for a moment. So we need to select all three keyframes, copy them. Next, use the left arrow key to click about six frames over to the left and let's paste them here. Lastly, let's move the playhead another eight frames to the very first position that we want, and we can use the position controls to move the word up off the frame. So now we have the intro animation for the first word. For the second word, we're actually going to use a mask. So click on the rectangle tool here, and it will make a mask. Now from the program monitor, we can move the top two corners up and align the bottom of the mask with the bottom of the two words. And also let's remove the feathering so it's a clean cut. Next from position controls, let's move the playhead to when the first word is in the final place and then press the stopwatch next to position to create a keyframe. And now let's move the playhead so we can align it with the keyframes above in the first word. And then let's move the second word down so it disappears behind the mask. And now we can repeat the exact process for the outro, but in reverse. Set the starting keyframes on the position, scale, and rotation for the first word. Then we can copy these keyframes and paste them to make it easy. So click and select this keyframe set and copy them. And now we can move eight frames to the right past this first set of the outro keyframes and then paste the set of keyframes here and go back to copy the first position keyframe and then we can go back here and paste the final position keyframe. And now the outro animation for the second word, same thing as before, move the playhead to align with the first set of outro keyframes above, and then press the keyframe dot to make a keyframe, then move forward about eight frames or so, and then pull the word down off the mask. And here's a trick to make your animation smooth, lasso and select all the keyframes that we just made, and then right click and select temporal interpolation, and then select ease in. And this will make the movement between each keyframe much smoother. Then we can pull out our responsive time handles here to encompass both the in and out animations that we just made. So now when we change the duration in the timeline, the animation handles remain the same. And if you ever want to reuse this kinetic title, right click on it and export it as a motion graphics template, save it to your local templates folder, and you can use it forever in the future. 
So now you can start practicing kinetic titles in your own Essential Graphics panel, and I hope it inspires more creativity when it comes to using titles in your videos. If you want to check out more tips and tricks, you can just click below to watch the playlist. And that's all for this video. See you next time. Bye.